Our regular update from Batship Bonkers Britain, where Rishi Sunak is getting serious about people crossing the channel in inflatable dinghies. He is now making it law such that if you arrive by inflatable dinghy, you will not be able to claim asylum and you will be sent back. Stop the boats, which interestingly is the same title as I used in a column I wrote nearly 10 years ago for The Sun, which saw me arrested and interviewed by in the caution by the Major Crime and Homicide Command for having such terrible thoughts. But I think it's all right now that Rishi Sunak is having them. The Bleeding Hearts Massive are out in full as per claiming that these poor men are escaping war and persecution. Last time I looked under the Eiffel Tower, there was no war or persecution happening in France, just maybe a demographic takeover, but that's for another day. Then we have more WhatsApp messages coming out from Matt Wancock during the time of lockdown. It's surprising he got anything done with the amount of WhatsApp messages he was sending. It was like being on one of those terrible village groups where people talk too much. And it turns out he was prepared to manipulate people into agreeing with him by threatening to take away funding for things they needed in their constituency area, like a learning disability hub. And all of this at the time, remember, was done under the umbrella of the science. Well, it turns out, as many of us suspected, that the science actually was just a load of blackmail and bullshit at best. And then finally, we're into another week of winter weather here in the UK. Some people have snow, it's perpetually grey and it's minus 15. It does make you wonder how British people survive. Seven months of relentless darkness, punctuated only by moments of grey that is spine-numbingly awful in colour. And truly, if you're not on antidepressants and you're still managing to survive in Great Britain today, then you deserve a bloody medal.